I am so excited to share my January setup with you um, using our Nordic Skies collection. And we have not done a winter collection in a while and I had so much fun with the colors that are in this. The beautiful deep blues, the artwork is just gorgeous. This collection is pretty well entirely sold out. Thank you all very, very much for that. Uh, we did take any bits and pieces that we had left over and list those. Um, if you missed out, go to the website under um, shop past kits and look in the January collection. And you will find there might be a few rub-ons left, uh, just a few things here and there. There are some inserts left. So um, if you purchase the inserts and then maybe if you purchase the, if you're not a subscriber, you'll have to purchase the downloads. Um, the printable, uh, there's a 12 page printable. So there's a couple options that you have um, if you just absolutely missed out on this and you love this collection. Um, so you can you can do that and still partake a little bit. So I am using my navy um, Vanderspeck planner. It's an A5 size. I always use A5. That's my go-to has always been, and I have never changed. I think I'm a bit of a unicorn that way. I know a lot of planner people try different things, change around with sizes and that. It's just always been A5 for me. <laughs> So um, I'm very, very lucky that way that I've always kind of had planner peace. Um, I've changed how I use my daily pages and what I add and take away, do a lot of that, but uh, the size is something that I've always, always, always had. So I have a, like I said, it's a Vanderspeck. Uh, what I love about the Vanderspecks is I can get the larger rings. So these are the 35 millimeter rings and you can choose your leather inside and out as well as the stitching and your pocket configuration which is really really nice so and one of the things i'm going to try and do i had done this before in these videos and i'm going to try and be a little bit more conscious conscious of doing it going forward i'm happy to report i did get my craft room clean so I'll be looking for a video of that here, maybe after shipping if I have time. But I will be able to get at my stash finally again and dig out some things that we've done in past kits that will work with your current setup. So that kind of helps you um, dig around in your stash and see what you can use and play with. So I'll point out what is what from this month and then also some of the things that I pulled from previous kits. So as per usual, I always add a couple of tags. I have my notepad here in front so it's easy to get to. I just tucked in a couple of little die cuts, the adorable little awk um, embroidery clip topper, and then this Grateful for This Life, that is actually the um, clip from uh, November. Um, I think we ran out. I was not able to get one. I had to give mine up, I think, for January, or I lost it. I don't remember. <laughs> so I ended up using the one from November, and it looks beautiful in there. The um, little bow clip is from this month. The gray one is from previous month. The little quote card, which I always like to put there, and the reason I like to put those there is when I have my planner open, I can still see it over there, and I really like that. So, um, and then I had, this is just from my stash, these little uh, charms that I got, they're little snowflakes, and I added that to the clip. The little yum button clip is from my stash. That was not from any particular kit. And then this uh, little resolutions card was from the uh, printable the 12 page printable. If you are a subscriber, you get that for free. If you do not subscribe, you can download it um, via, you can purchase it and download it as well. And then you get 12 pages of printables, 
But I put that on the back of this card from the planner add-on. And I just thought it was nice. I thought I'll just kind of fill that out once I think of what my um, word for the year is or my resolutions, I'll kind of play with that. So I just tucked that in there. And then pens. I wanted to mention, before we move on, I wanted to mention pens. So this beautiful gold pen with the iridescent crystals is the one that came in the kit. And we kind of had a whole silver and gold thing going on with this month's collection. But I went back through and found a couple of uh, things. So the pen case from uh, December will work cute with this kit. And then if you want to dig through your stash, the silver pen, and I believe this was last... December. So not 2022, 2021 December, we did a silver pen with the iridescent crystals. And that looks beautiful with this collection as well. I think it was November, possibly, we did the gray click art pen. Um, so that's just, it's like kind of a fine point uh, marker. That works well. And then I do not remember which collection this one was with. I'd have to look back, but it has a beautiful kind of white barrel and there's a bit of a sheen. There's, If you look real close, it's kind of a glitter. And then the crystals are the lavender and the blue, which looks really, really pretty with this collection. So that's another option for a couple of pens as well. So. If you want to um, use those, you can. So I loved the silver and gold together, so I put the silver one over there. And then um, a tall card. This is in one of our oversized tags from the Classified Memory Keeping Kit. And then one of the pocket cards from our Modern Memory Keeping Kit. So I added those in there. And then moving on, I added just a couple of the little glitter dots. And speaking of glitter dots, I told you I was going to dig in my stash. Um, last, I think this is 2021 December. I could be wrong, but I found these glitter stars and they would be super, super cute with this as well. Then I added the, I added a couple little glitter dots on here as well. The gold star foiled, or the gold foiled overlay, the vellum from the classified planner, and that as my little divider. And then the stripe pages I added. So with the sticker kits, there was a couple of them that had different colored numbers, but they were the same shape. So I liked these colors for these stripes and these colors for these stripes. So I used both and I switched them out and it just, I kind of like that look. So I added the dates with the stickers. I stamped January from the Traveler's Notebook stamp set over the word photos. And I, pr I actually ran these pages through my printer and added the word photos on all of them because this is where I keep track of my daily photos for when I do my memory planning. That way I know I can, when I'm done with this month, I can just take these sheets out and put it with my memory planning and I know photos, I, if I need to jot an idea down or a story, I can put that in the section. So that's what I use this for. So I have January photos and I did some other stamping as far as the little stars and the snowflakes, there's a little rub on on there. And I stamped the stars and the snowflakes in black and I really liked how that turned out. I did the same thing here and then I did a little bit more stamping. I love these little half circle and circle stamps. This was from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, by the way. You can see I continued on with the stickers few little rub-ons. Not a whole lot on these pages. I like to keep them pretty open so I have plenty of room to write. Little rub-ons, the little birds, some more stamping. Same thing for here. And then I used a couple of the cards 
from the or the oversized tags from the classified member keeping kit as my little bookmark that has my menu little um I like to keep my little menu card on here. It helps me. I need to update that though, because we've got a bunch of new recipes I need to add on there and just kind of switch it out. This beautiful overlay with the Northern Lights, this was from the Classified Planner Kit. And then I always do my menu planning on the back side of the week on two pages. So I have menu plan, and then I did the day of the week stickers, and then I'll write out my menu for the week. And then something I wanted to show you as an option um, for this little card, this acrylic card that comes in the main planner kit. Now it's meant to hold, and you can do that, and I show that quite often, it's meant to hold the sticky notepad that you get in the kit. But this month I wanted to show you a different way to use it. If you don't like that, or let's say you love the artwork on it, you don't wanna cover it up with the sticky notepad. So here's just another way to use it. You can actually turn it into a fun little bookmark. So I just cut the top and punched a hole in it so it looks like a tag shape. I punched the holes in it so it can go in my rings. And I punched it so that that sticks out up above the top a little bit. So now it's actually a bookmark. You could use that to wrap some washi tape around it if you wanted to, so that you have some washi tape handy. Um, so you can use it as a little washi card as well. So you just wrap the washi tape around it, it lays flat and you don't have to keep, um, the, try and figure out where you're gonna put a whole roll of washi tape in your planner. So that's another thing that you can do with that. Another thing, we got this beautiful uh, velvet ribbon in the classified memory keeping kit. You could tie a little bow in the top of that tag as well. So these are my brain dump for the week. So Sunday nights, I sit and I write out any dates that I have. I have any scheduled appointments. I will write that out on here and then I'll go back and fill in um, with the other stuff that I want to add for the week. So it's just a, a good, nice overview. I use my daily pages every single day and I fill those up with all my daily to-dos, but it's nice to start the week kind of with a blueprint of, of what I want to get done what day. So just some stickers on there. And this one, the same way, I did a little bit of stamping. There's some stickers, a couple die cuts. And then I used the little mini tabs from the, um, the planner add-on and just stamped those with different stamps just for fun. And then again, some more stickers. Little This one is from the printable. I cut him out and put him on there. And I stamped the snowflakes in the black and the light blue. Some more stickers. So easy peasy. I don't do a lot of decorating off the bat with these. I may fill in as I go. But you can see kind of I start a little bit. I love to use a bunch of the stickers on these pages. It's a good place to use um, your stickers. I had an extra piece of the foiled vellum. I put that there. And then the dashboards. The dashboards, when you get them, they come in A5 and personal size. And I like to use both in my planner. This little clip with the snowflake is from, I believe, uh, one of our... I don't know if that was, that wasn't last month. One of our past December kits, I believe. So I took that, I, I think, I'm pretty sure. From um, the stash, I used that because it worked so well with this month's collection. And then this is one of the printables that I ran through and added, um, I ran it right through my printer, added some alpha stickers on the side. There's a little bit of stamping in here. There's a few stickers and a die cut. So just kind of added that page. This card is from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then I just added, so when I cut out this printable, 
it was a little bit short. So I just ran a little bit of washi tape along the top and the bottom for a little bit of pattern, added that piece, I did a little stamping and a little die cut there. And then here I added, I love this card because <laughs> I'm a summer person. Um, even though I love this collection, but I'm still a summer person. So the little pocket card from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit and then the calendar section. I didn't add a lot. The, um, the background on this has so much beautiful artwork. I didn't want to clutter it up. So I added a sticker here. There's a little bit of stamping and a couple of die cuts, um, rub on. And that's about it. I left that pretty open because like I said, there's so much beautiful artwork um, on it. I didn't want to make it too busy. And then the plan forward section where I added the little um, die cut butterfly, or moth, not a butterfly. Um, so this section is for you to plan forward if you need to. Um, you could put birth dates in there if you wanted to. You could put um, dates or schedules that you have coming up. Something, um, a couple people have given some great ideas on this. So one person had a book a month. So you could write down a book a month that you wanted to do. That would be fun. Um, if you wanted to use it in some way as a tracker or a habit tracker, you know, like if there's something you need to do once, twice, three, whatever, many times a month, um, something like that. So there's a lot of different ways that you could use this. If you don't, if you want to use it for something completely different, just even for notes, you could take something like the small washi tape that we have and cover up the months on there if you wanted to do that. Um, you could take stickers and cover up the months if you want to change it out. So it's just, just think of it as a page that you can use a lot of different things for, especially for, it's meant for um, forward planning, but because we gave you something really cool in the main planner kit, you may not need that so much this year. Another one of the dashboards, I added just a few of the glitter dots on there. So when you get your, when you get your daily pages, they're meant to be used as a two page spread. So when you get the first one, it'll be up like this. I cover that up then with the dashboard and then it, I can go right into my, um, my two page spread for each day. So these come without these headers. I've stamped these. I added the little meal plan stamp as well. And then that allows you to customize this however you want. So we don't have the to do any anymore on here. It just says daily. Um, I've stamped the day on here with a couple different stamps. I layered those, added the date sticker. And then this is how I use these sections. So the must do. That's my list of things I absolutely have to get done that day. And then I add my to my to-do list, my schedule. These are things that are more like family schedule or appointments I will put in here. And then I have call or email, um, things that I need to call about or people that I need to email specifically. And then this little things to remember, you can add whatever you want in there, but I like to stamp meal plan and then write down what we're having for dinner on there. Then this section, is just wide open. You can use this. I usually end up scribbling on it with just whatever I need to remember for that day or if I'm on the phone and I need to take notes or if I need to do math, um, then I can do that on here. Uh, but you could, because you have a grid on here, you could do an hourly schedule. You could do in that section as well. A lot of people will do a gratitude on here or devotion on here. That works as well. So it's really set up, you can set up what, however works best for you. So I did a couple little different things this month. So normally I make a pocket out of the pattern paper. Well, I've been making the pockets out of, um, out of these plastic sticker sleeves that we have for a while and we had two adhesive clear pockets and I believe these were in the, they were either in the planner add-on or the classified planner um, kit. They were in 
either of those. But you got a small one and then a large one. And this larger one was big enough to hold my sticker sheets. So I just did that this time. So I layered that on top of this pocket. And I've been using this system for a couple months and I really, really like it. I take a week's booklet and I just cut it up. And then I use the pages um, for lists or notes. And this has worked really, really well. It's got beautiful artwork. And I love the stripe pages too. So if I need to do any sort of extra weekly planning, I can do that on here. And then I just tuck those in here and I have those handy. And then I added, like I said, this other pocket and then that holds my stickers. And then I went through my stash and I believe it was the Solstice collection that we had. Uh, we had this little Simon of him hugging a star, and I thought that was really cute. So I added him and another little quote card from my stash as well. So instead of the normal um, pattern paper pocket, that's what I did this month. I have one of the smaller dashboards, added just a couple of the little glitter dots to it. have my to-do on here. I took a couple of the tags. Uh, the four by six tags from the pocket um, or the modern memory keeping kit and made a little tag out of those and then I added the moon sticky notes I thought it just looked so pretty on this tag and I added those on there these were in the classified planner so I have those handy and I didn't put all of them I just put a few of them that way it's not a lot of bulk this I Am Freezing Cold Me 24-7. I love this. I had this in, it was part of the December collection. But I loved this tag so much. And I had an extra one. So I used it again this month. I just added some of a piece of the, I believe this was from a Traveler's Notebook card. So one of the four Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards that you get in that kit. I cut it down and put it on the back of that. I added one of the moth die cuts, some of that beautiful velvet ribbon. And then I put my um, sticky notes from the main planner kit on here. So instead of, as I mentioned, instead of putting them on the acrylic, acrylic piece, I'm using them separately, just as an idea to show you another way to do it. Just, like to try and give you more ideas. And then I have all my daily pages. And then into my dashboards. And this little clip was in either the main planner or the planner add-on. And it's got those cute little stars. And then the little pine cone, which I thought was really pretty. Because you kind of have a bit of a woodland thing going on here, even though it's way, way, way up north. Um, so I had the little pine cone. But we had... And that's gold. We did one in silver with beads and stars. Um, and I don't remember which collection this was, but if you dig in your stash, you might find that one. So you have that one as well. And then another clip, and this one is an oldie. Uh, boy, probably four years ago, maybe. It was a January kit. It was probably the last January um, winter kit that we did. And it's the little cute little beanie with uh, pom-pom on it. And it's the little embroidery clip. So that one would work as well. Oh, and then the other thing I pulled from my stash, this was from the December kit that had the gnomes. And it's these fun little glitter swirls. And I thought that would be really fun to add here and there as well. So I pulled that out. That works with this collection too. And then I added some pattern paper on the back, another one of the little pocket cards that I liked, some of the personal size um, dashboards to kind of subdivide that. Another dashboard. And I love this moth print, the black, the black and white is so pretty. And then this one, and this is You Are My Sun, My Moon, and All My Stars. I layered that card over top. And then this beautiful pink print. I love this print. And I loved it with this particular little pocket card. So I added that there. 
And then a heavy sheet of acrylic. We are currently out of this heavy acrylic. They come in 12 by 12 sheets. And we normally have them in the shop. Um, we are ordering more. We are currently out, but we will get more in. Again, make sure you put your name on the wait list so that when we add it back in the store, you get notified. And I'm using a gray highlighter. There was a blue one in the kit. I've got that in my pouch. And then the fun little plan forward booklet. So this booklet was part of the main planner kit. And I wanted to show you what I started to do to kind of decorate mine. So the way that it's, it's designed is there's enough dates to remember pages so that you have enough for one for each month. So for January, and I also thought it would be kind of fun to decorate it a little bit with the theme or the collection from that month. So when the year is all done, you kind of have a reminder of what all of the themes were. So I took my January stamp and I stamped that here and then I'll go in and write all of um, my birth dates. So that's what I wanted to use this for mostly is um, for birth dates. And then I have this all set at the end of the year. I've got all of the birthdays written on there because I'm always forgetting <laughs> when they are. So it would be handy to have those. So I'm going to write those on there. I did a little rub on of the fox. And then for the calendar, I just did a little bit of stamping and then a little, a couple of little rub-ons on there as well. So then I'll go through and I'll do that again for February. I'll do the same idea and I'll stamp February and so on. So I think it'll be a fun uh, way to use that. Sorry about that, dog's barking. <laughs> So anyway, so that is what I'm going to do with my little plan forward. And for right now, I'm just kind of tucking it in the back here. It slides in that little pocket. Just perfect. So that is my setup for January. Oh, and the beautiful pouch. So we went, uh, we continued on with the gold. So you have a gold tassel, gold zipper. It's a fabric pouch this month, and it has that beautiful artwork. Just kind of the little branches, and it says the more you love your decisions, the less you need others to love them. So you have the beautiful pouch that goes with it as well. And this um, is a separate subscription. So if you wish to receive the pouch every month, you'll need to sign up for that. It does not come in any kit. It is a separate subscription. So that is a look at my setup for January using the Nordic Skies collection. And um, I hope you are having a happy new year, like I said. And again, I apologize that this is a little late in getting out there, but I hope I've given you some ideas that you can incorporate into, um, into your setup and some ideas on how to raid your stash. And oh, and be watching, I will try and do a video, a little walkthrough of my craft room now that you can actually walk into it. So I'm pretty happy that that's all done as well. So thank you all so much. And again, if you missed out, go check out the website. We do have just a few little things left um, and you can still grab those yet. So, and I will see you next month when I show you my setup for February. Mm -hmm.